Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Ma'am Raya, your English teacher. And for today's discussion, we're going to have another reading and writing skills lesson. Okay, this is in connection with the last uh, discussion we had, which was about the types of claims. We mentioned from that lesson that um, we also need to understand how to get information if it is explicit or implicit information okay i know i gave you just a brief a definition or yeah um maybe a, a a short topic about or the the description about explicit and, and implicit and i believe i have yes uh, i have the obligation to further discuss what an explicit and implicit information is because uh the discussion for that lesson actually focused on the types of claims which were um claim of fact claim of policy and claim of value okay so to further understand um what is really explicit and implicit okay so yes we will discuss that one here and before we proceed please do me a little favor to like my videos and also subscribe to my channel okay rest assured that i will really have or i will provide um good content especially for yeah, our subjects okay for the reading and writing skills okay so um to give a short recall about yeah before that picture um are you excited with the picture <laughs> yes there is like uh, something in the picture yes um we mentioned that explicit is something like um, um, it is uh, there or it is clearly stated and implicit is not on the um text okay i forgot sorry um yes i'll try as much as possible i'll try to use the bisaya dialect okay for your um deeper comprehension about the discussion okay so you already um saw the picture here it is okay so again just like um yeah the previous lesson i'd like you to observe closely i'll try as much as possible no okay um tanawa palihog unsa yung nakita sa picture same thing okay mas okay lang tanaw kayo it's it's actually about life anyway yes here um murag makarelate mo ani or dagan ang makarelate or dagan ang bitter okay so um tagaay ko og mga sentences nga klaro nga naa jud din yung makita diha okay so makaingon ta nga o ma, pwede na to i-describe no okay something nga tangible kita kita or kana ma-touch ma-touch na to okay so na ay babay okay na ay duha ka lalaki antong nga ang lalaki nag-agbay sa babay nya ang babay to holding hands niya ang usa ka lalaki okay so kinsa may nagunahon na og dili maayo ani nila Diba na amoy ginahon na diha no at the back of your mind okay but we can't really tell we can't judge okay o man ko nagingon diba so ningon ra ko kung unsay mo nakita okay kasagaran ang nahitabo kanang mga balita sa silingan o naa si nakita isulti niya sa lain ang katong usa ka tawo nga ihang gisultian mo na mo interpret mm, lahi naman ang ihang pag-interpret kay base ra man sad sa katong istorya niya base lahi sa diha nakita diba Okay, so na, uh, naglingkod silang tulo sa usaka bench. Okay, that is what we see. Okay, now let's try to have this text here. Okay, so okay, yeah, the direction, read the following text and answer the question. What questions? Why is it not safe to climb over the fence? Why did you say so? Okay, this is the text. Okay, I'll try to have, uh, yeah, I'll adjust my... <laughs> screen here okay hope that's clear that summer the fence that stretched through our town seemed bigger we lived in a yellow house on one side of it white people lived on the other and mama said don't climb over the fence when you play she said it wasn't safe okay so wala nag mention no okay nga nang dili safe okay ningon ra yung mama niya pangota na nga nang dili man safe ang mo climb ngadto sa lain nga fence okay so mao na ni ron imo ma ato ang ma-check ang imuhang interpretation or maayo ba ka mo interpret sa gibalita sa imuha okay so ang gimension diha kay na uh, sila nagpuyo sila ang color silang balay kay yellow yeah. sa pika side ko no 
kaya nga na ay boundary na ang atusad ang mga um, white people. Okay. Pero wala man describe ilang balay nun, ingon lang ang mga tao nga nagpuyo nga to kay mga white people. So, we could possibly um, imagine or interpret nga mm, ang kani sila, dili sila, basta tarong pagdanay, mm, kay ningon man yung mga ayop, pag kuan di ha, kay anha di ang lugar, kay dili na safe, dili safe diha So, possibly, nga ang ilang pamilya or ang balay diri o ang lugar nila dito sa Pikas, sa katawang ay white people, mm, they're not in good terms. Okay? So, mm, kumul kumulapas ang yung anak nga to, possibly na ay World War III. Na, na, in, that's your interpretation. Okay? So, muna nakaingon ta. Okay? This is according to the um, details given to the text, di ba? Okay, so nganong ato man ning gibuhat, nganong ato ning giprovide. Ganina kay igipakita ta mo ang picture. Okay, nya igipangutan na ta mo unsa yung nakita sa picture. Nya karon, kay ipabasa ta mo og short text unya ana ay question nga somehow get check ang inyong interpretation according to or based sa gihatag nga information. Okay. So ngano man ni siya? Okay, dara. Okay. So maghisgot na ta sa explicit information. Okay. Explicit information here. Okay. Any idea that is stated. Okay. Stated. So, um, gibutang, gi naap mismo makita sa text. Okay. The explicit information is written in the text. Okay. This is what I just said. Okay. There is no need to look for clues because it's just there. You just have to read it. Okay. If the information is written, then it is explicit. Okay, yes, so, yeah, further discussion of the explicit and implicit. Okay, now, let's try to have the implicit information. Okay, it is understood but not stated. Sa ato lang nasabtan, ah, maudi ay, di ba, so, inan, sa ato lang interpretation. So, we have our own judgment na based sa facts nga ipakita. Di ba, sa kainamdom sa types of claims. Okay, another Implicit information is not written, but the idea is there. Okay, so gitagaan na kag mga clue. Mm, Mura bito ka ng, oh, gitagaan na kag clue nga, nag-cheat imong boyfriend ni mo, pero lahigya po na yung interpretation. <laughs> Mapatigbabaw man na yung mga feelings kaysa yung mga mm, um, kabright. <laughs> O sa hay, di jud malikaya no. Bisan kay bawa na ka sa tinuod. Okay, mo. Mo base gyapon eh, mo interpretation bisan klaro na kay sa nan ba. Okay. Um another description about implicit information, it is uh, using what is read to make an inference. So base sa imo nakita, base sa imo nabasa, maka-interpret ka nga na is something nga uh, batti or dili mao nga hitabo. Sa katong picture nga atong ipakita ganina nga naiduha ka lalaki, nyang isa ka lalaki nag-agbay sa babay, nya ang babay nagka-holding hands sa usa ka lalaki. So from that picture, maka-interpret ka nga nag-cheat ang babae. Mm, di ba? So ina, what what kita ka sa story? Based lang sa imong nakita. Nya ang katupod sa text ganina nga dili gipagbawalan ang anak nga moadto or moduwa molapas ngadto sa fence kay dili dako na safe. Ngano ka ha? Okay, so possibly nga, ang ilahang pamilya not in good terms with the other uh, people from uh, living from that other house. Okay, so muna siya. So, nakahimo kag imuhang um, judgment, nakahimo kag imuhang decision according sa imuhang nakita. Magbasig yun ta, pero minaadjud na ibe din siya. Okay, dili ka kaingon nga, um, bayot imong uya. <laughs> sorry, sorry about the term. Okay, I'll just... Um, change the example. Um, you can't really tell if your best friend um, lied to you kung wala kay gakita ang ebidensya. So, mag, magpa, um, mag, daw dyan na picture, okay, na screenshot, okay, na pamatood nga. Tinood lagi akong istorya ni mo. Ano siya? Okay. In critical reading, it is very essential to have the skill in analyzing explicit and most importantly, implicit information okay, in order to evaluate the arguments, claims, okay, and ideas in the text effectively. Okay. So, um, o, kinanglan, kibalo ka, mo, uh, so na, mo weigh things up, okay, basi sa mga 
um, objects or sa mga nakita, sa mga explicit information, kibalo ka mo interpret sa imuhang implicit information, sa imuhang ideas. Mm. Kinanglan na siya. Okay. Um, yes, I have here a short text. Okay, I hope. Okay, sorry for that. <laughs> Inanagid ako ang ko ano. Okay, so this is very raw and natural. This is very spontaneous video. Okay, so I have here a short text again. We'll, I, I'll read this for you and I will have a short way of um, determining okay, so ano to paghibaw nga explicit to ang information or implicit to siya. Okay, during the, during the 21st century, the word Facebook, FB, came into our awareness. In fact, it is one of the most popular social networking sites with over 1 million users. Almost three-fourths of these users are between 13 to 25 years old. And these people use FB every time they have an opportunity to do at school, at home, in the mall, and anywhere else. So, FB seems to just be a waste of time. It is a complete distraction to the students. Many students fail to complete their assignments and projects because they are addicted to FB. Some use words and acronyms that only they can understand, and it crosses over when during face-to-face -face conversations. FB also becomes a tool for bashing and a venue for gossiping. These are just some of my impressions of FB. Okay, so we have here 10 statements coming from that text. Okay, FB is the acronym for Facebook. The author has negative impressions of FB. Okay. The text is about a popular social networking site. The author will not promote Facebook to people. FB has over 1 million users. Facebook is a complete distraction to students. The paragraph did not express the positive side of Facebook. FB is a waste of time. Most of the FB users are from ages 13 to 25 years old. The author is not fond of using Facebook. Okay, so from these 10 statements, I'd like you to categorize them. Yes, according to explicit or implicit. Okay, asa ani nga mga sentences nga makaingon ka nga explicit. So remember, ang explicit, naa mismo gi-provide ang information sa, gi sa text nga gibasa. Wherein, ang sa implicit, ikaw lang ang mo-interpret. Okay, wala siya mismo gihatag. Pero according lang sa imong nabasa. Okay, asa ani? So, mauna itong buhaton. No, okay, mauna siya ang 10 statements, no? Okay, so again, imo siyang i, um, yes, imo siyang i-divide into two. Asa nila na belong sa explicit o sa implicit. Okay, now we'll have this one. Okay, ang, im ang explicit nga to sa mga statements, FB is the acronym for Facebook. Okay, nakainumdo mo sa text, nagibasa na ang ito, no? Okay. FB is the acronym for Facebook. The text is about a popular social networking site. FB has over 1 million users. Facebook is a complete distraction to students. FB is a waste of time. Most of the FB users are from ages 13 to 25 years old. And the rest are already implicit. Okay. The author has negative impressions about FB. The author will not promote Facebook to people. The paragraph did not express the positive side of Facebook. So, ang interpretation na ni, wala man ingon, wala man ingon ang author nga. Mm, I have really, or I don't really like a Facebook. Okay, so, niya wala man sa siya na ingon nga. Hanang, mm, I will not promote Facebook to people. Okay, di ba? Okay, atong i-review ang kuan ha. Okay, ang katong text. Okay. So here, mm, so nakita na to ang katong sa explicit, gimension ganina nga, popular social networking site, ginaa, so muna explicit, gimension po nga, okay, over 1 million users, yan, nasa tong, um almost users are between 13 to 25 years old, okay, pero gi, um, sa katong implicit, ni niingon raman siya, they have an important, um, FB seems to be just a waste of time. So, muna nakaingot nga. Negative ang um, hunahuna sa author about aning Facebook. Okay, sorry. Okay, so inana siya. Okay, tungod. Uh, Iyang ipang-mention diri ka sa um, tanan jud kay mga negative. 
Okay, ma fail to complete their assignments. Okay, addict, addicted to Facebook. Words, okay, ilang paggamit kay lahi na sa mga words, mga shortcut na sa words or acronyms. Mm. So, it's also a tool for bashing and a venue for gossiping. So, diri, makaingon d'yo ta nga, bati ang iyang ipangsuwat about sa Facebook. Niingon rasad siya nga, these are just some of my impressions of FB. So, um, di ba, wala d'yo yung ingon nga, di siya ganahan sa Facebook o maglagot siya sa Facebook. So, muna naas siya sa implicit, ang kaning four statements. Okay, I hope na klaro na, nasabta nag mas, mas nasabta nag maayo ang uh, kalahian sa explicit o implicit information. Diba? So, at least, okay, makabalo mo on sa on pag, um, yes, especially nga pag determine kaning information kay um, sa, labi na kung mag, yes, mag identify mo sa types of claims. So, claim of fact ni siya kay na adjut di pa matuod. Okay, claim of value ni siya, okay, based on my judgment according to, ano. Okay? So, mora to siya. Thank you so much for joining today's lesson. Okay, I hope you learned a lot here. Okay, enjoy learning and see you to uh, see you on my next video lesson. Okay, that will be all for today. Enjoy learning and keep safe everyone. Goodbye for now.